Today we're going to be playing with the Python console a little bit. Now most of the time when you're writing out scripts you're going to be using a text editor such as Vim or Nano or some other sort of IDE to uh, build your, your scripts. But sometimes you just need to go into the Python editor to do something or play around or test something. And uh, a lot of these other editors such as Vim, um, you can set up auto-completion uh, which is nice so you can tab to auto-complete. Well, you can actually do that right in the Python console too. Just takes two lines of code. You have to import two modules and set it up. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm going to start off typing Python in my terminal here. You can see I'm running Python 2.71 in this case. Um, and we're going to import, as I said, two modules, the read line module and the RL completer module. Then we're going to set up, we're going to say read line using the read line module. And we're going to say uh, parse underscore end underscore bind. And then inside some parentheses and inside quotations, we're going to set up tab and complete. Oops, yeah. There we go. And we're done. Now we can get auto completion. And I should have shown you before how it doesn't work, but you'll see if I type in uh, like. IMP and I hit tab, hey, it does import. I didn't import anything, that's why I got that little message there. Uh, but I can also set up a variable. Let's set up a variable. I'll say my var. We'll say this is my var. So we create a variable and we can go, now we can say print. I can type in my and hit tab and you can see it auto completes so it recognizes variables that you've created. Let's create another variable. We'll call it my second var, and we'll say that equals var number two. And so now what happens if we say print and we type in m tab, I think if I double tab though you can see um, that it gives you both your options so you can continue typing, I can hit s and hit tab there. So that is how you set up auto completion in the Python console. Real quick, I'll just go over that again, just for those who missed it the first time, just because it was such a short little video. Uh, once again, if I type in IMP and hit tab, nothing happens. You can see it just tabs. So what we're going to do is import read line RL completer. Then we're going to set all that up like so and bind. I'm going to say tab complete. And now if I type in IM and hit tab, it does import. I can type in PR and hit tab. And you can see we have different options there. I'll hit I and hit tab and it does up to print there. Uh, what other things are there? We can say um, uh, WH and hit tab and we get while. I'm trying to think of what other things are but I can auto-complete without creating some variables. I mean, I can hit I and hit tab, you can see. And also it helps, not even auto-complete, but also quickly gives you uh, a bunch of your options. In that case, you're like, oh, I guess I can do input, I can do import, I can do if. Um, so it also just helps you uh, realize things, uh, features that you may have forgot about or trying to remember. So if I hit EL, you can see I have if, else if or else. So there we go. So I hope you found this little quick tip uh, useful. Once again, you know, majority of the time you're probably going to be writing your scripts inside a uh, editor of some sort. But I do find myself at the Python console sometimes just practicing stuff rather than writing out scripts. Uh, it's important to practice your skills if you want to keep them up. And uh, you can also uh, take those two lines, the imported line and the read line, and actually put them into your home folder in a file called uh, .pythonrc.py. And you can set that up to load every time you start up Python, so you don't have to type that each time. Just whenever you start up Python, it will automatically uh, start up those uh, scripts for you. Actually, let's have a look at doing that since we have time. So I'm going to hit Control-D to clear that out. I'm going to clear the screen here. And I'm just going to use Vim as my text editor. I'm going to create a file called .pythonrc.py. 
and we're going to say import read line rl completer read line parse and bind tab complete and I will save that file and now what I can do is um, if you note, if I type in Python and I type in IM, I hit tab. It hasn't uh, that that file has not been affected yet, um, has not been set up. So what we can do is go export all capital Python startup equals dollar sign home forward slash dot. Oops, oops, keep hitting the wrong keys here. <laughs> there we go. I was trying to hit backspace and I kept on hitting down pages next to it on my keyboard here. Okay, um, Python rc.py and we'll hit enter. Now if I start up Python and I type in im and hit tab, hey look, autocomplete is going. Now this export command right here you now have to put into your bash rc file or regard depending on what uh, command prompt you're using but in this case I'm using bash which is the default on many systems so we'll just say vim dot bash rc as you can see I already have one line in here and this file is everything in this file will run every time you start up bash so I can throw that in there and now if I close out my terminal next time I start it up it will automatically load this line up and then when I run Python it will automatically have the autocomplete added in there and obviously you can add other commands into this uh, Python RC file uh, and have other things run when you start up uh, Python but I hope you found this tutorial useful uh, please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris the K there should be a link in the description and I hope that you have a great day